Beth Theresa May and her cabinet on Thursday agreed on the plan for a trade deal with the youth. Claims have come as Theresa May and her cabinet finally agreed on the plan for a far-reaching trade deal with the EU following an eighth-hour Chequers summit on Thursday. A senior source suggested the cabinet unity on Brexit will not last despite how everyone walked away able to say they got what they wanted. 1. Cabinet minister is reported to have said it's easy to agree on an opening position, what happens if that's rejected is a lot harder, and that's going to be a far bigger challenge. Another cabinet minister added, Thursday was the first time we've ever sat round table and all agreed on something, plan A was hard. Enough. There is no plan B. We'll get to plan B when we need to. The group agreed Britain must not be part of a customs union and that frictionless trade was still possible without one. It has been reported. Britain is expected to propose a deal whereby industries with cross-border supply chains will stay closely but voluntarily aligned with EU rules. However, Britain will also propose that its financial advertising and legal services diverge from EU rules, it has been reported. The Prime Minister is expected to give a landmark speech next week where she will outline the UK's Brexit position, but European Union diplomats have already revealed it is likely to be rejected by Brussels. Geta Theresa May is expected to give a speech next week where she will outline the UK's Brexit position. A senior Brussels official said that despite Mrs May wanting a Bespoke deal it simply was not compatible with the EU structures. The insider said, there is a binary choice A. Free trade agreement to the single market. European Council President Mr Tusk has also claimed the current UK position on its post-Brexit relationship with the bloc was based on an illusion, hitting out at the UK trying to get a bespoke deal. He said, if the media reports are correct I'm afraid that the UK Position is based on pure illusion. JT Donald Tusk claimed the current UK position was based on an illusion. It looks like the cake philosophy is still alive. For the very start, there has been a key principle there can be no cherry picking and no single market a la carte.